The crime out here is ridiculous. Shortly before 2.30 this morning in Waterbury, police rushed to East Main and Baldwin streets for a collision between a Hyundai Sonata and a Ford Escape. Police sharing this surveillance footage of the crash. They say the Hyundai was supposed to stop at a red light, but instead, you can see they rammed right into the Ford Escape. The car almost hit me, and then it kept, kept going and it hit the uh, fire extinguisher, and then that's when it flipped over. Inside the Hyundai were four teens, all 14 or 15 years old. One of them died at the hospital from her injuries. Police say the Hyundai was stolen from the Brookdale Avenue area earlier in the morning. We did notice in the car there was a screwdriver in the car, and there was some sort of cord that was hanging from the dashboard steering column area. Residents who live near the crash scene are now fed up. It's ridiculous. A lot of these young kids are stealing cars out here. I mean, I don't know what the police are going to do, but they got to start doing something out here. Adrian Goosby witnessed the aftermath of the crash and tried to help the 14 year old girl. She was alive. She said, Help me, help me. She had something stuck in her. What's the name? Near her stomach. Two of the four teens, police say, were affiliated with the gang. Waterbury Public School Superintendent Dr. Verna Ruffin issuing a statement saying in part, we mourn the death of our student and extend our deepest condolences to the family. We hope and pray for the recover of the three other students hospitalized. Police say the teens who survived are expected to be okay as well as the people in the other vehicle, but they want to use this tragic incident as a reminder for all parents. I would encourage parents and guardians and family members to make sure that, you know, they, they are uh, engaged with uh, their children. Waterbury police also added if you own a Hyundai, make sure you take extra precautions by making sure your car is locked and to also bring it to your local dealership to make sure they install the newest anti theft software in Waterbury. Carmen Chow, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.